welcome to Wayncast, whatever bloody number it is, because I can't remember. Um, it's been a while, hasn't it? Uh, quite a while. The longest cut I think I've ever had with these for a long time, so right to the very beginning. It's <sighs> been a busy old time. A lot of shit going on. Uh, a lot of stress, a lot of non-3D stress, lots of stuff. Um, the culmination of all that was um, me, my wife, my mother, my father and my brother all coming down exactly the same time with a very, very violent uh, sort of sickness and diarrhea bug. I spent four days vomiting my insides up and literally I was wretched. I threw the, the line in my stomach, which is not pleasant, right? And it's still sore. I shouldn't really be out today because um, I'm on that little period where Dad's to be was on call, right? Where every second of your life is on call in case you get the phone call telling you that wifey has, you know, you know, started to get the pain is about to drop. But because there's been lots of um, snow and ice down here, you can't obviously it's out now, right? But um, it's the first time I've been able to get out, and I need really, really need to get out and unwind today because it's been an absolute nightmare a few weeks. Um, I got the deadline for the book in. Um, I was put massively off target by this um, this bug, this virus, and there's not a lot I can do about that. I'm off target, and I need to get back on. So I got the book to finish and ready to hand in by the 30th of April. Um, there's I've got to have all the stuff ready to hand in for the Sigrif Masterclass in about a week or two. <laughs> all right, it's not even been started yet. I've also got stuff to prepare for um, a masterclass I've agreed to do. It's not connected with Autodesk, it's a separate one. Uh, in the Netherlands, um, Neil Blevins is going to be there, I think. Zap Anderson, you know, Masters Up. Everybody, if you know Mental Ray, you'll know Masters Up. Works at Mental Images. Guy who writes all the shaders. Nice guy. Um, it's got to be a really good lineup. Um, and I've, I haven't prepared a damn thing for that yet. <laughs> um, on top of that, there's all the baby stuff. Uh, we've got everything in. And it's just a matter of preparing and everything. And, it's been a nightmare. Uh, I've had one one firm with a job offer that basically messed me about. They didn't even reply to the invoice, uh, which is a bit impotent. You know what I mean? You know who you are. And I would say, do not think you're getting away with it because you will be getting legal letters before too much longer. So before I say it again, I'm not I'm not nice when it comes to business. Um, you can't afford to be these days. Uh, now I've also got a uh, phone interview for a job tomorrow. Um, I don't expect to get this one because it's so far what I've, what, outside of what I'm normally known for. Um, my name carries zero weight, right? Um, I've got no work that I'm able to show at doing this skill. Now I don't know what I can do it, but it's coming as an employer. And the employer that's actually phoned tomorrow is Midway Games. Not the American arm, it's the British arm. The one that's safe, right? The, the incidentally Midway America, this Chapter 11 bankruptcy, which basically means they get to protect all their assets and not have to close down or sell the place and stuff like that, right? It's it's all very complex, but it is safe. It doesn't mean it's going under, right? Um, so suffice it to say, I'll just have a little walkies. Um, I'm sort of shitting bricks over that, right? Now you all know me as a um, sort of, like, I suppose a creature scout, but a cat, you know, I'm a, I'm a digital scout, that's what I do, right? I've used both major programs, but I've even used bloody silo. And I've, and I've, I've had a mess of 3D coat at times, you know? I've used the whole bloody lot. The only thing I haven't used is um, that bloody clear one with the special haptic device. Basically, I couldn't afford it, right? See, Graf, I'll have a go at it, you know, what the hell. Um, but, this is for a character TD position. Now a character TD, that doesn't just mean you're in charge of, you're not in charge of like, scoping characters, right? Nothing of such kind. No such luck. What you are in charge of is all the rigging and skinning um, of the characters in the game, right? That's it, you're in charge of that. You are the book stops here guy, right? It's got to be right. There's nobody you'd run to if you have a problem. Um, now I've done it before, but it's outside of my general area by a long shot, right? Um... I'm not known for it, so as such, I don't get any favours. The only favour I have had is I didn't apply for this job. Um, it was offered to me, um, simply on the strength of my name and word of mouth. But a lot of my stuff does come from word of mouth, you know what I mean? It says there's pauses. Right, that's better. Um, so I'm, I'm meant to see what happens with it, really. <laughs> I would have dragged all this knowledge, knowledge to the front of my head. Because I've been dealing with 
mud boxing before, that's either for, for that long uh, on a day to day basis. I would dredge all the knowledge forward, make sure it's current, uh, and make sure everything is spot on the money. Um, but as I said for a while, I'm looking for a full time position. Now I'll get one, it's quite simple. Nobody's ever stood on a stage for an Autodesk Masterclass at SIGGRAPH and not had a job, right? It hasn't happened before, a full time job. I'm above freelance, I'm about, you know, <laughs> sitting there and saying, I need a job. It hasn't happened, right? I've had permission to actually do that if I need to. Um, because it basically shows the industry up. Now, if I'm standing in front of the, the brightest and the best, as it were, that are wanting to learn about um, advanced mud box stuff, right? Um, it looks a bit daft. They, they've all got jobs and I haven't. So, uh, needless to say, um, it'll happen, you know what I mean? It's, it's just, a, I don't want to rush into anything. I don't want to pick the wrong thing. Um, I've always said, he who makes the first decent offer for the right job wins. Simple as that. We're in a recession, can't afford to be picky. Um, I don't really care if I'm sculpting characters all day, rigging the character or freaking texturing the bastards. I don't really care. You know, I don't care if I'm making the tea, to be honest. Um, it's it's all it's all money, right? I'm not picky. Uh, sometimes, as artists, we can be a bit... Um, what's the word? I'm not being insulted. A bit... A bit bit picky at the sort of jobs that we uh, require I don't have requirements you know I don't I just say right what's the job how much money does it pay what's the hours if that's if it all works right and the, you know the responsibilities I've got are okay for the money I've got coming in great I'll you know I'll take a job if not don't be told no thank you I've told firms that on more than one occasion if it's been a case of they're taking the piss money wise and you're basically running the you know the entire character pipeline and they want you to pay you like 12 grand or something a year well fuck off with that because that ain't going to happen not in this universe for this boy up um stuff like that you know what I mean but um yes it's it's not time because I've got all this stuff coming off I have so much stuff and so little time I need 40 hours days and there's not enough hours now I'm I'm actually missing a lot of the parts during the day when I normally work with my wife now being heavily pregnant uh, my son's really newfangled he wants to, he wants this baby out yesterday sort of thing so he's been a bit of a pain in the backside understandably same as I was at his age right because you want it now this second don't want to wait but he's, he's got to right but um, so that means that it's more difficult Kane's a good lad but you know at times like this he's only three and three quarters you know and there's only so much the kid can, can cope with you know what I mean for tea. I'll have a quick bit of time. I've got about three minutes. There's some important stuff I'm going to cover in part two, um, including releasing a little bit of information about something uh, very interesting, especially in Woodbox users. Um, it's been worked on for a while, right? And this is nothing you'll have to pay for before you're thinking about it. Um, so, I'm actually, if some of you watched the latest um, quick start videos, there's one, one or two of them were too long to fit on YouTube. So you'll have to look at um, the you know the site but I've got more news on that front in part two uh, I'm using um, an advanced copy of Mudbox it's an internal beta not beta there's no beta testing for Mudbox now right it's internal it's done I can't tell you why I've got it but I've got it right no extra features exactly the same as you've got um, just for a certain reason um, but I'll, I'll, I'll talk about some of that in part two okay see you in part two in a second Bye-bye.